everybody. Welcome to Railway Empire. I'm Tenacious Viking, your railroad tycoon builder host. I have been uh, waiting to play this. Um, I was interested in it anyway, and then I saw someone else playing the campaign, and I just I went and ordered it, pre-ordered it immediately, and uh, I'll show you why right now. Because I'm going to start with the campaign. I'm just going to do a brief campaign um, thing here, um, and then I'm going to get into a more sophisticated, uh, actually kind of more sandbox play later on, uh, just to, to kind of show you the the options and the things you can do with this game. But to get started, I'm going to play the campaign because when you play Chapter 1, you're in the Great Plains. The first chapter takes you to the construction site to the Union Pacific Railroad, which was started in 1863. Thomas Clark Durant, the visionary in charge of Union Pacific, will assist you. And that he will. In this campaign start tutorial thing, you start in Omaha, and the very first connection you make is to the town I live in. That is so cool. All right, pause mode, normal. Yeah, we're going to do that. I've actually played this once or started this once. Um, I have 120 frames per second now, which I didn't even know was possible. So, yeah, the only option you have is uh, is pause mode, which is either manual, uh, trainiac, game never pauses, don't want to do that. Normal, it pauses when you're building track signals and buildings and in bulldozer mode. I'll do that. Um, I did an evaluation okay. of the contenders, and I am the best choice. Yeah, I, no, the industrialist fire freight. No, I'm not going to do that. I oh, got to do that. Okay, I'm, I'm stuck. All right, whatever. Uh, I don't know if I can change the name either. I think I can. Yeah, I can. Okay, uh, Tenor Viking. Here we go. Union Pacific Let's Railroad. Go. I will stick with that. time is money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's do it. So here's our map. We are in Omaha, Nebraska. <clears throat> Because that's kind of where the uh, final push to uh, connect the coasts uh, started by Union Pacific. In 1863, on the banks of the Missouri River, the last chapter in the monumental undertaking of the Transcontinental Railroad began. The workers of the Union Pacific Railroad began laying their tracks westward from Omaha through the wild heart of the North American continent. Massive challenges awaited them. Away from all civilization, the country was vast, the weather ruthless, and the challenges tremendously energy sapping. But there was a masterstroke of modern engineering to be accomplished. To tame the wilderness and to conquer it with steel, fire, and steam. Never before had anything like this been ventured. But the time was ripe. Greetings. My name is Thomas Clark Durand. Exactly, the head of Union Pacific. We will go down in history as the ones who created the Transcontinental Railroad. And that, my friend, is your job as Chief Engineer. I can supervise everything here on site right now, as I have to meet with some politicians in Washington. <laughs> First, you should familiarize yourself with the basic controls. Move the camera in all directions. Now test the camera's zoom function. You can also rotate the camera. Give it a try. Very good. Now you know the basic controls. Your first task is to create a rail connection between Omaha and Norfolk to the northwest. And that, my friends... Both cities will need a station for this. You already have a station in Omaha, but you still need to build one in Norfolk. To do this, switch to building construction mode. That, my friends, is why I bought the game right away. I live in Norfolk, Nebraska. And this, I think, to my knowledge, this is the only 
part of Railway uh, Empire where you can build to Norfolk. But I wanted to do that. So let's build this. A train station you get here and, and you basically you can um, with uh, shift and your thumb wheel you can rotate this a little bit. I'm going to rotate it this way because I happen to know where the train tracks went from here. Very good. Now the two stations need to be connected with tracks. To do this, switch to track construction mode. Now plan the tracks between the stations in Norfolk and Omaha. To do this, select the two station tracks one after the other. Then pay for your track planning. All right, so clicking there will will complete the route. Now you can go and uh, and modify the route uh, a little bit, but I'm not going to do that now because I just want to do that. And then you click on the dollar sign. Now create your first train so that you can set up a rail line between your stations. Initially, your train only exists on paper. It's not much use to you without a locomotive. All right, no locomotive chosen. We're going to do automatic. It'll automatically uh, load whatever ca cars, whatever's available, uh, and whatever the other station needs. Okay, and we click on save and exit. It will give me the option to add a locomotive. And the Philadelphia is the only choice, so you click on that, click the dollar sign, and you've got a train. A lot of other things you can do later on. Uh, I'm not going to worry about personnel or cars. The cars will be automatic now. Um. Very good. Now you can see the journey your train will take. If there is something to transport, the train will automatically take it. So I'm going to watch this. Um, you see, I, I, I selected the train, and then this little pop-out. Uh, you can center on the train, or you can ride along, which is also a lot of fun. However, as each locomotive needs water, sand, and lubricant on its journey, you have to place a supply tower along the route. Okay, so I right-click to get out, and I have to create a, um, a water a supply tower right here. You click on that. They suggest right there, and that actually works well. Very good. Your train is now traveling between Omaha and Norfolk. But you can do even more. Each city needs goods from the surrounding area. For example, every city needs corn. Oh, I missed that before. Every Look, city. there is a corn farm near Omaha. Until now, the corn has made it to the city in the conventional way. But we want to change that. Where is the cornfield? There now construct a rural train station in the marked location with a corn farm within its radius. I, I like this. This is uh, really good. Now, as soon as I uh, rotate this, it will turn green. And you can tell how far out you can go, how close you can go. Um, right there's obviously Now connect the, the new rural train station to the station in Omaha. All right, I will do that. Uh, am I on the? No, I'm not yet. Okay, there I am. Get the green, the green signal, and then you can go up and connect here. Click the dollar sign. And now things are getting tricky as we have to deal with a logistical problem. As Norfolk should also enjoy fresh corn, there will soon be two trains traveling on the stretch of track between Omaha and Norfolk. Of course, this will then result in a conflict. Now here's where we get tricky. Since trains cannot <laughs> travel through each other, you'll need a side track between Omaha and Norfolk. This consists of one parallel track and two signals. All right. First, create a side track. It needs to be at least long enough for a fully loaded train. Okay, we get there. We go. I gotta click a couple times here. All right, it'll, okay, and you get the little parallel track symbol, and you'll go from here to here. Okay, and then I click on the, oh, uh, end planning. And click on the dollar sign. Now, I will need to I can't. <laughs> I had to click twice. I don't like that. Um, 
need to create a, uh, a switch. Sign. Okay. And I like the way this automatically widens so that bo the trains in both directions can uh, can resupply. Excellent. However, your trains won't necessarily use the sidetrack as they generally always take the shortest route. For this reason, you also have to specify the direction of travel on each parallel track. Excellent. Now do the same on the parallel track, so that each parallel track has a different direction. Place a second signal in the highlighted area and block the track to trains coming from the opposite direction. Very good. I'm sure that it wasn't at all easy. You will soon come to realize that signals are an important aid in guaranteeing smooth rail operations. You will find more information and tips under Hints and Tips. Now assemble a new train and give it a locomotive and a rail line. Your new rail line should run via Omaha to Norfolk so that the people of Norfolk can be supplied with corn. Excellent. The corn farm will automatically make use of your train because the cities along your rail line are demanding corn. Conventional transportation is much more costly for the farm. We are still missing something. Locomotives wear out over time and need to be regularly maintained so they can perform their duties more reliably. For this purpose, there needs to be at least one maintenance building on each rail line where locomotives can be serviced if necessary. Construct such a maintenance building at your station in Omaha now. To do this, select the station itself and expand the station with this building. Ah, right here. It says simply construct maintenance building. You can also expand the station there, but it's uh, easier just in this case just to construct. Right. We've been lollygagging for long enough. I need to return to Washington for further miserable negotiations with our representatives of the people. Uh, I've written a task list for you. Take a look at it and complete the tasks within the given time period. Do not disappoint me. So, our task list. First, connect Omaha and North Platte, and then Omaha and Cheyenne in one year. <laughs> Oh boy, uh, just to make sure though, I'm gonna put a, um, this isn't very far and it doesn't say I have to, but I'm gonna, well, I'll keep an eye on it, see if I need to put a um, uh, a supply tower uh, between Omaha and, uh, and Evans Farm. And uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, the, uh, the North Platte, uh, put in a, um, a station, and we're going to do it just right like that, because uh, Cheyenne is about <laughs> uh, about there. Get out of that first, and go ahead. And I I'm not so oh, I don't like that. Um, well, maybe I don't care. Um, hmm. I kind.
kind of want to go near these places because I think I could just build a, a station right there on the main line and not have to build a separate one. There. All right. Uh, wait. Stop it. Oh, uh, end planning. Okay. There we go. Good. Now we can That's finished. You are making progress. Now I got to figure out switching here. Um, because, oh, okay. What, I, what I'm going to do, <laughs> because I'm chicken, I'm going to go ahead and expand the, uh, the station here. So I'll get out of that. 100th Meridian crossed. Oh, really? Okay. Good for me. Yay. Um, so now I'm going to expand the station to two tracks. And uh, I, I'm I'm gonna put up I'm gonna put a switch here because um, no I'm not yet <laughs> I'm gonna leave it just like this for now I'm having some trouble um, getting the track to work the way I want it so I'm just gonna set up this line and see what happens see what works. Um, Okay, and that's at the um, center on it. That's at the. Uh, I don't know if I don't have a, a crossover here, so I don't know if the train will be able to reach the maintenance shed or not. Doing this, I, de I deliberately kept them separate so that they um, would uh, would not interfere with each other, um, and I wouldn't need to put in a lot of signals right now. I have a feeling I might have to change that at some point, but for now. I can, uh, I can blow the whistle myself. You can also toggle the camera position. Straight out, you can go behind. That's cool. This is kind of my favorite. You can also move the camera, theoretically. Um, I don't know... It's not doing it, but... Doing anything? Hmm. We'll uh, we'll recenter here, so it follows it. But I also have to move along fairly quickly to connect to Cheyenne because that's one of my tasks. So hopefully this will work okay. I'm making money on the a lot of money on the corn run, a little bit of money on the passenger and whatever else they're they're uh, sending along is mail and and passengers, I guess. This is working well. Um, I'll go back to that as a reference. Um, it, but in, 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 the, in the previous, uh, previously when I played this, I was able to create a, a cross here. Um, but I can't do it now that this uh, track is, is doubled. So um, I'll release the centering and I need to go to Cheyenne. There's a long, oh, I need to put right in the middle here, I need to put a... Uh, Supply tower, right about, I'll put it right about there. Should be clear of that when I need that. If you don't do that right away, you know, it's not going to be the end of the, the world. It'll, uh, um, it'll slow the train down maybe, but it won't, uh, you know, it won't, uh, a lot of things. Populist does not want to go to war. Oh, I didn't know they were going to war in 1863. I didn't know. Okay. Uh, let's go to Cheyenne. If we can find. There we go. Cheyenne. Whoa. And uh, we'll build ourselves a station. I'm not sure where I'm going from Cheyenne. I've got the uh, topography uh, indication on. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rotate this a little bit toward Denver. Uh, so that I can connect there if I want, which I think I will. <laughs> and uh, now I have to build track. Uh, 
uh, WASD moves you around. Um, I thought I, hmm, I thought I was able to just go straight through last time, but uh, I'd kind of like to do this. I don't like that very well. Um, stop it! It's supposed. Oh. It's supposed to remove these, and it's not. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, I'll work on that, and um, and I'll uh, I'll figure it out for next time. We'll uh, connect to Cheyenne and see what else we have on the uh, on the list. We have to get to Denver and uh, do some meat and cattle in Denver. I know that. We'll go that far at least. Uh, the first. Um, season is just going to be this little uh, tutorial thing. I won't do a whole lot of episodes on it, but I, I did want you to see me connect to Norfolk, Nebraska, because that's where I live. Thank you so much for watching. Join me next time when Tenacious Viking plays Railway Empire. Oh.